Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Louis Larry Pesavento for the mid-afternoon update. We've got three of the four stock indices are up. Only the NASDAQ is down. The S&P 500 is past the 4,200 magical level, got up to 4,206. The Dow Jones up to 43,000 and change. And the Russell is uh, slightly higher, but still uh, lagging quite a bit behind the rest of the markets. So it's only up a few points, and it's been the weakest, of course, uh, all along. Uh, also, the gold has sold off, silver has sold off, copper has sold off, and we're having a tremendous sell-off in crude oil, heating oil, gasoline, and uh, natural gas was up a little bit, a little bit earlier. I hadn't checked it recently, so the energy complex has moved uh uh, a little bit lower also, which is uh, very, very interesting. Our guest today on our show coming up, uh, Fibonacci 24-7, will be Mike Moore of Moore Analytics. He'll join us at 1.30 and again at 2.30. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to have uh, Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. On Wednesday, we're going to have Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter, who's been saying we'll be rallying up into early May. And, of course, we hear that uh, seasonal all the time of sell in May and go away that works about 50% of the time, which is not bad, 50% of the time. You can still do okay at 50% of the time. But we look at pattern recognition, swing trading, and that's what we're focusing on uh, these days. And then on um, Thursday, we will probably have Bill Meridian of uh, – Cycles Research out of Vienna, Austria, that's what we're looking at for some things to uh, pay attention to uh, on some of these markets. The volatility is going to continue to increase. The important thing today, folks, has been the big drop in Treasury bonds down from that 61% retracement up there at that uh, 132 level. We hit 120. We broke the 130 level, folks, down into 129. And that is a sign that interest rates are probably going to be uh, going higher or lower. What are they trying to tell us here? I think as they drop like that, that means interest rates are going higher. And we have the Fed coming in on Wednesday, which always is a lot of fun. And I believe we have a non-farm payroll on Friday. So it will be a very, very volatile week. It's a banking holiday uh, in most of Europe, especially in London. And which is part of Europe, believe it or not. And so those are some of the things that we've been thinking about here all day, pre preparing for, you know, what's going to be happening to, you know, some of these uh, markets that we're paying close attention to. So we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. 